Hi friends. In this video, we will discuss that how we can configure management IP in Palo Alto Firewall. Before starting this procedure, please make sure a connection can be made via a console cable to the Palo Alto Networks device. If you are working in virtual environment like GNS3, then start virtual machine. So log into the device with the default username admin and password admin. Palo Alto used DHCP by default on its management interface so we have to change it to static. So once you logged in into device, go to the configuration mode to configure IP. To go to configuration mode, type configure and hit enter. The next step is to change the system setting to static. Palo Alto used DHCP by default. So to change DHCP to static, type command, set, device config, system, type, static, and hit enter. OK. In next step we will assign static IP to Palo Alto Firewall Management. To configure IP address on management interface type, set, device config, system, IP address, and then IP address that you want to configure, then netmask, and then type, subnetmask of your network, then default gateway and then type default gateway of the subnet and hit enter. In my case I am using 192.168.211.100. As IP address and 255.255.255.0 as subnet mask, and default gateway is 192.168.211.1. So, next step we have to save all the changes done so far. So, to save the configuration, Type commit command and hit enter. When commit completed 100 percentage, then you can access firewall with IP configured as management IP. So we will check with the web browser and login. And in next step, we will discuss that, how can we change management IP in Palo Alto with GUI. So we are able to access device with configured IP address. Now log in with username and password. So once you logged in, go to device tab. In device tab, go to interface tab under setup option. Now click on management interface under interface tab. A new dialog box will be open. In this box, you can change IP address and other management information along with network connectivity services. Once you change the IP address, you need to click on commit to save all changes. Now you can access device with new IP configured on management interface. So in this video, you have learned to configure management IP in Palo Alto with CLI and GUI. For more video, please like this video and subscribe our channel. You can also visit to www.softwareumpire.in.